and welcome to Something for the Weekend with me, Cathy Griffiths. Me, Fiona Scott. Me, Alice Butcher. And me, Martin Stewart. Hello, Hello, hi, Martin. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Weekend starts here. Nearly how many hours till we finish work? <laughs> we've, got to, we've got to tell people that uh, uh, lovely Martin is standing in for uh, lovely Stevie. Yeah, we, we give Stevie the odd, odd day off now and again. We let him out for good behaviour, yeah, but only yeah. very, very occasionally. Oh, he'll be back by two then. <laughs> <laughs> just, just an hour. If it goes on the best behaviour ranks, he won't be away for long. <laughs> I'm just going to ring him throughout his holiday just to keep him on his toes. You're just a natural pest, aren't you, really, Alex? <laughs> I'm like pest boy. A Scottish midge. <laughs> yeah, they're out, aren't they? Has anyone got... else noticed the midges? Oh, they're really bad this year, yeah. Already. That's I got bit by my first one the other night. I was putting some um, washing out and I felt this little nip and I thought, on my neck. Was it a vampire? Actually, it wasn't a vampire. <laughs> the vampire midge. <laughs> so, oh, that's that's the first time I've been bitten while I've been up here. I've been bitten before because I've been to Scotland before. But it was like, oh, yeah. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. And then about a second later, there was about 100 buzzing around my face. So I fled. Yeah. You need to get one of those hats, those full-on hats with nets that cascade over your face. I could incorporate it into a face covering, couldn't I? Yeah, that would be handy. Do they not have midges in England, then? Not to that extent, no. Um, they're, they're not quite as voracious. You know, you do get you do get them, but they don't sort of attack in the way that they do up here. I can't believe that something so small can bite so hard. What's going on there? I don't think it's the size. I think it's the quantity. It's the, the, the swarm. <laughs> the, the, there's mass around your face. Uh, they're dangerous though. I ended up in a hospital about three years ago because my, my arms swole up like Popeyes. Uh, I had three or, four, three or four bites in it and just... Really? Uh, yeah, the, I just took a bad reaction to them. So I'm really, I'm really careful now. I take, uh, I swallow antihistamines all through the the summer. But Martin, Martin, you're an outdoors guy. Is there, is there anything you can do that? The best thing to do it? if there's lots of midges is to keep moving. If you stand still, they'll swarm around you. If you keep moving, if you move a couple of miles an hour, you'll be okay. They keep on you. running. You just, you not, just not stop. <laughs> <laughs> just run away, basically. Talking of tasty bites. Guess what I'm having this weekend? I'm so excited. So excited. I can't tell you how excited I am. Go on, guess. Some food of some sort. It beetroot. is. It's not beetroot. beetroot. It's not beetroot this week. Something... Cucumber soup? No, it's it's round. It's flat. Biscuit? No. Come on. Think. Pizza? Yeah, I'm having pizza. I'm having pizza. There's a girl on um, Seal, Holly Wesley, who's uh, she's got a wood-fired oven, and on a Saturday night, she she makes lovely, gorgeous pizzas and feeds people, and it's just so wonderful. So I'm having a pizza with artichoke, ricotta, lemon. Oh, what else is there? Garlic and something else on it. I could have gone for pepperoni, full-on pepperoni and such like, but no, I'm going for the artichoke, and I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Artichoke pizza. I'm drooling. Oh, oh, yeah, better now. I don't, um, even, I don't even know what half of those things are that you're putting on that pizza. <laughs> well, I was going to say J- Jimmy's Cafe and Benderlock is doing pizzas at the moment, but I don't think I don't think they have artichokes up there. Oh no, it's just so lovely. And do you know what? It's so so sweet. But uh, she's actually called the bakery Solace Bakery, and it's just lovely for people who are sort of like you know in lockdown and that kind of thing, just to have. Something that's a little bit normal, something a little bit special, actually, not normal. Come into the homes on a Saturday night, bit of a treat. So I'm looking forward to uh, to that. There you go. So mine's an artichoke. Don't know what you're having. <laughs> I like a bit of seafood in my pizza. I like my mussels and prawns and just anything seafood, basically. Seafood and eat it. Yeah. There's a joke. And that's good because I'm going to plug for next Friday. It's not this Friday, but Rockfield have come up with a stand up comedy night. So that's Friday, June the 12th. But you need to get your tickets now because I think there's only 100. And it's going to be a, um, a comedian called Des McLean. Now, clean. How do you say that? MC. Big L. McLean. McLean. 
I think it, I think it can be either or. It? Okay, all right, Des McLean then. Now, apparently, one of his biggest fans is Billy Connolly, so you'll be interested in that uh, fee. But he's going to host a stand-up comedy night. There's three other sort of comics who've been like all over, like um, comedy festivals in New York. There's been tours of Australia, um, Fringe Festival. So that's next Friday. I think tickets are ten pounds, and you can watch it on Zoom. So they're actually going to interact with the audience who were sort of, you know, watching them. So, yeah, I think that sounds a great idea. So I'm yeah, gonna we, that. we need, we need a laugh. laugh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you heckle someone over Zoom? You just do it, don't you? Don't, you, you have your mic turned on, don't you? Boo, boo. <laughs> do you know what happened? Talking of boo, boo. Um, went to the pantomime. Um, it was the, what's the tunnel? Oh, no, you like this. I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. And it was great. So it was the pantomime this, um, this year in the Corrin Halls. It was a spotlight theatre folk. My friend I went with, they walked out. Not because of anything to do that was happening on stage. Apparently I was booing inappropriately and too often. And they were so embarrassed. They left. <laughs> how can you, how can you boo inappropriately, Cathy? I don't know, but apparently I was, and it just got too much. It just got too much <laughs> for them. <laughs> Anybody want to come and see a show with me? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no? All right, then. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's next Friday. So apart from that, this weekend, I'm going to plant a few seedlings that have been given to me about weeks ago, so they're looking a bit dead. So, anyway, I'm going to try and revive them, <laughs> get them planted out this weekend. I'm going to tap the garden with a strimmer. And then I'm going to play bingo with my family because the quizzes are all right, but they're starting to get a little bit... Mm, I bit thought you were... Like. Hang on a minute. I thought you what? were streaming last weekend. I didn't get around to it, Alice. Oh, <laughs> oh you're so still you, on the ball. You, you were tra trailing the fact that you were doing all this gardening last weekend. Well, I did do now... some of it, but it's a big garden. So I need to, I need to sort of finish it, finish it off. So I'm playing bingo. So 46... Clickety click. I was going to say, who plays tricks? I'm trying to make them up. 81. Have lots of fun. Get up and run. 34. Knock at the door. Oh, I put out of the door. Anyway, there we go. Anyone got a house yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually cringing just, here. Bit, <laughs> just sign up for a flat if that counts. <laughs> bingo, bingo actually scares the life out of me. What? I've had I've had bad experiences at bingo. It's, it's so serious. How you, can you be serious about bingo? Oh, um, Kathy, you want to go to some of these bingo halls? Honestly, you get shushed constantly. I you, oh, boo. Yeah, oh, you'd be banned. You would be thrown out on the street. <laughs> oh dear. So what else is? Who's got exciting things planned for the weekend? It can't be hard to beat what I've got organised. Well, I'm quizzing. Still, I still like my like my Friday night quizzes. And if anybody mentions bingo, I'll be off like a shot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're still having great fun doing that. And then I think I might go out for a walk on Saturday. You taking Malcolm? Ma Malcolm doesn't do walking. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's exhausted. He's exhausted <laughs> by all the uh, gardening that you've got him doing. He's painted the house. He's fixed yeah. the roof. I shall take my dog. So if anybody's got I any ideas of where we can go, that'd be helpful. <laughs> Somewhere midgy, midgy free. Well, Martin does quite a bit of uh, walking, don't you? But you, yours uh, walks with a different... Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to go out and do some history sites this weekend. Uh, not walking this time, though. I'm uh, hoping to take the canoe out. Uh, I'm going out to an island on Loch Awe, uh, Frey Echo Lane. It's got an old ruined castle on it. Uh, been out before. And it's an absolutely fantastic site, and it's uh, nice and isolated and close to my house as well. Um, so I'm hoping to get out there if the weather stays good, which apparently it's supposed to. Do you know what? That's the most exciting contribution to something for the weekend since it started about <laughs> ten weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> he's mad at Historic to a historic site. I mean, the, the I am so impressed. The nearest we got to a kayak was Kathy getting stuck in one in her back garden. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I won't be coming out with you, Martin. I'm not, I'm not risking that. <laughs> well, it's a canoe. It's got a bit more space. You're all right. Nothing to get stuck in. 
<laughs> so what, is there anything in particular about this site that you go going so you canoe across to you is it a little island at lock off yeah yeah it's just a small island it's, it's maybe only about a quarter mile from the shore it's just a, a short paddle and it's an old 13th century castle it's in ruins now apparently bonnie prince charlie was meant to turn up there on his way down from glenfinnan during the jacobite uprising except they stood them up and never showed up and the castle fell into ruin not long after it Wow. Grief. But it's still there and you can go out and see it. So it's not it's not really a tourist site, you basically have to paddle out to it and find it yourself really. But um, it's all fun. Yeah. But, but, pro- but it probably a hist- history site, you know, it's a little bit more exciting than kind of just jumping in the car and driving to a castle and giving the uh, National Trust lots of money. Yeah. I mean well I mean this area is this littered with historic sites. I mean well, some of my favourites are quite really close by here. We have the Oak Bray Kirk, yeah, just down at Lerex. That's an absolutely fantastic site. You know, it's a huge amount of history, uh, but see, it's, it's barely even on the map. So I think we should have Martin on every week. I do. <laughs> You're in. Sorry, You're Stevie. In. Sorry, Stevie. We do love you. But... I'm going to need to bring in some Star Trek references, though. <laughs> we do love you, Stevie. But I'm sorry, but running through forests has not got anything on what Martin's got for this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie's going to be jealous now. <laughs> uh... Come on then, Alice, beat that. What are you up to this weekend? Well, forget about canoeing, forget about historic sites. The really interesting thing that I'm up to this weekend is cleaning my typewriter. Beat that. Did you say typewriter? A Silver Reed 500 typewriter. I've had it three years. I got it on eBay for 30 quid. I use it for writing letters. And uh, what I found recently is that it has started to jam quite a lot so you try and hit the key and it doesn't quite make it up to the paper and i thought what i should do is go and buy a new one let's go and buy a new one let's go and spend money on a new one and then i thought actually once i looked at the price of them they've obviously gone up in value in the three years since i bought mine Uh, and i thought you know what i'm going to try and give it a clean myself now i might wreck it uh, or i might make it worse but I thought, no, I'm going to do a little bit of research into it. And apparently what I need is not WD-40. It's uh, because apparently that's really bad for typewriters. Uh, what I really need is gun oil. So if you've got any gun oil going spare, <laughs> give it a shout. We're all stunned into silence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like I've been transferred back into the 80s. I'm still... Typewriter. <laughs> I think it... people use them still. Can you still buy them then? Of course you can. Why? Why, why not? Why? Well, I will. T- why would you? Oh, so you did want... three years you ago. Want... Sorry. Do you yeah. want the justification for a typewriter? Is that what you're asking me? Well, I know it sounds lovely because we have had this conversation before. That like bring at the end, you know, bring. It's quite a nice sound. It creates sound effect. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Get me on stage. <laughs> Sweeping it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that last bit was a bit of a. Uh, it would have been. Should have been louder. That ding wasn't quite as clear as the ding that I wanted. Well, maybe it'll be fixed this weekend. Oh yeah. Well, no, the justification that I've used for typewriters is this: I've spent all my t- my working time looking at a screen. And you've got several windows open, haven't you? Usually there's a bit of social media, you've got your uh, emails, you've got this, you've got that. Um, What I found is that when I type, I don't have any distraction at all. So anyone who's interested in writing will know this, that it's very easy to get distracted by modern technology. You, You end up just sort of flitting between several platforms with a typewriter. You commit to, to writing something and there's no distraction. Good point. Uh, yeah, are you one, one, it's definitely silence. Are you, <laughs> are you a one finger type, typist or do you I'm use not. all of them? I don't use all of them. I think I'm a two finger typist. But I start, when I started in journalism when I was 17, just a couple of years ago. Uh, decades. <laughs> Decades ago, Decades ago <laughs> I learned that that's how we did the job. We did it on typewriter and uh, typewriters, and just got this passion for. Them. Yeah, you'll you'll have to watch the Ellis because a lot of the guys that I've I used to work beside that started off in typewriters, they're all getting that car- carpal tunnel syndrome. Is that what you call it when your your fingers um, all, all stick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, thanks, Faye. It's a health and safety issue, Alice. <laughs> I did think you were going to say they were all dead, so actually, that sounds a bit better. I've just got a couple of things in jail. Beware of the, of the demon typewriter. So all, I'm injuring all... myself, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah, they've all got hooked hands, and they're saying they say it's because they're the old fashioned typewriters. Well, I don't mind. I just, well, you've got to have something wrong with you. <laughs> want... Jack Nicholson famously said, I don't want to die healthy. Oh, there we go. So, talking healthy, folks. Let's all stay safe. <laughs> I'm not positive note. <laughs> I'm on a positive note. But I... <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Stay in touch with us. Let us know what you're up to over the weekend and let us know what news stories are going on and send us your pictures in. We're always really happy to hear from you. You can give us a call on 01631 568000. Email us at editor at opentimes.co.uk or message us on Facebook. Of course, at this time, this coronavirus time, you can read all of our stories for free online on our website. You can also pick up copies of your Open Times at the supermarkets, petrol stations, and news agents. Um, and you can subscribe as well for just £4.80 for three months. What a bargain. We all love a bargain. So have a great weekend, everyone. It's bye from me, Cathy Griffiths. From me, Fiona Scott. That was me typing by, albeit with a, an extra letter. <laughs> it was four letters there. Four letters. Tara. 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 <laughs> Love from Tara. <laughs> is, is Martin allowed to say goodbye? Um, yeah. Yes, it, yes, it's goodbye from me as well. <laughs> oh, happy kayaking. Thank you. <laughs> See you next week, folks. Bye. 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 Bye.